Hey everyone, welcome back to Sasser House. In today's video, we are going to be working on our landscaping. This summer, we have been so busy with our backyard garden that we have absolutely just let our landscaping go. There is no defined edge around our flower beds, and we have so many weeds that are just so overgrown in our flower beds and in our gravel driveway. So we've got a lot of work to do and we're gonna completely transform this in this video today for you guys. We are going to be cleaning everything up and pulling all of these weeds in the flower beds. We're gonna do some fresh mulch and then some rock work to give our flower beds some nice edging and our home some curb appeal. Then for these plants that have not been thriving throughout the summer, we are going to install this awesome Rainpoint Bluetooth watering system. We've got a lot of work, so let's get started. To start this project off, we've got to pull all of these weeds in our gravel driveway, which was super tedious and I got a little tired of it. So I pulled out the weed eater and just weed eated all of those weeds, which went so much faster. I blew it all off and then I got out some weed killer, which I know is controversial because this stuff is not good for you at all, but it's the only way that we can keep weeds dead and out of our gravel driveway. Eventually we do want to get that paved, but it's just so expensive. So for now, we've got to just keep dealing with the weeds and keeping them out. I went ahead and continued to pull weeds throughout all of our flower beds, and this was such a job. It looks very quick on this time lapse, but trust me, this took literally two days of all day weeding because we had just absolutely let this become overgrown with weeds since we were so busy with our backyard garden this year. After getting all of those pulled, I headed over to our local landscape supply store, which I've never been to one of these places before, and it was very cool. They had so many different options of rocks and stones that we could choose for our landscaping. The first option we were thinking about were these kind of round, natural-looking stones, which were kind of in the river rock family. We really liked those, and then they had lots of options for flagstone, which would have been really great for stacking, but these were a little more expensive. Then the third option was the Tennessee Fieldstone. All right, it's been a couple days since we've been out here working on the landscaping. It's been raining a bunch, and so we still obviously have quite a bit of weeds in the driveway. They have been sprayed and they're dead for the most part, so I just need to take time and pull those out. But most of the weeds are all out of the flower beds, and I just went and picked up half of the rocks or the stones that we're going to use to line the outside of our flower beds. I'm really excited about these, and so I'm not going to stop and continue to pull these weeds. I need to get these unloaded because I have a whole nother load to pick up at the stone yard. So I'm just gonna start. I know that you're probably supposed to put like a layer of sand and stuff down and kind of dig it out uh, quite a bit. And I know that some people have even like used some kind of glue and like glued these when you stack them. I have no clue what I'm about to do. Like I have no clue if I'm gonna stack these one high, if I'm gonna do two high. Um, I really have no idea. And I don't want to make anything permanent because Emily's not here right now. And I want to make sure that my wife likes it. So I think I'm just going to go and chip out kind of the edging around it. Start stacking some of the stones around the shape of the flower bed here between our flower bed and our gravel driveway. And just see what it looks like. And then we'll decide what we're actually going to end up going with. I realized that this Tennessee Fieldstone was not meant for stacking. They just come in way too many different shapes and sizes which was totally okay with us because this means that we're able to get this entire project done with just one pallet of these stones, which cost us about $400. But if we were going to try to stack something, we would have needed two pallets. So that will save us money. And I do think that this still looks really good. The process for laying these stones out was super easy. All I did was just take this little mattock tool and kind of dig out the edge around the flower beds and then place the stones one after the next. And it was pretty easy and actually very satisfying, um, but it was very hard work and hard on the back, I guess. But that's good for me. When we got to the end of the house, Emily actually wanted to not end it at the corner of the house. She wanted to carry on the flower beds all the way to our air conditioning unit, which I thought was a great idea. It took a little bit extra work, but she is always right. So I finished out that pattern all the way to the end. Now I just have a few more weeds to pull. Okay, so I'm on day three of doing the landscaping, and today I'm gonna do some mulch work. So I've got three scoops in my bed. We're gonna see how far this gets us into this front right side of the house. I'm probably just gonna use a shovel and scoop it out. Doing mulch is one of my favorite parts of landscaping, so this should be fun.
All right, I've got truckload number two. This is three more scoops. I'm really hoping that this will get the rest of the landscaping done. In my opinion, adding a fresh layer of mulch is probably the easiest and cheapest way to completely transform your flower beds. I mean, even if you just do a fresh layer of mulch, I feel like it just makes your plants and honestly your entire home just kind of pop when you have that fresh layer of black mulch. And I think that all of this mulch only cost us about $65 and it was honestly the easiest part of the entire process. You just literally dump it out and spread it a couple inches thick and you're done. All of the plants in our flower beds this year have really struggled because of all the heat and lack of water. So that brings us to today's sponsor of this video, which is Rainpoint. Rainpoint offers all of these really advanced and cool Bluetooth watering timers. So we're gonna install one of these today and test it out. All right, so the last and final step for the flower beds update for this season is to install one of these Rainpoint smart watering systems. This is basically a smart timer that we'll be able to control from our phone. And we're going to hook it up with the soaker hoses in all of our flower beds that are already ran around each plant. And this should help us keep up with our watering when we're out on the road traveling. And when we just get busy and we don't have time to think about turning on our soaker hoses manually like we have been doing. So next year, Hopefully our flower beds will stay beautiful, the plants will stay alive, the flowers will be pretty, and we won't even have to think about it because we will have our digital timer on our cell phones. Let's get this opened up and see how easy it is to set it up. This was actually super easy to set up. All you have to do is take this little smart hub and plug it into an outlet inside your home, hold down that green button until it starts blinking, and this is going to connect via Bluetooth over to the portion of the sprinkler that's going to hook up to your spigot. So make sure that you have batteries in this and it should connect right away. Then open up the Rainpoint app and click add device, use Bluetooth and allow, and it should immediately recognize your new watering system. I'm gonna go ahead and change the name of this sprinkler to my flower beds in case we get more of these in the future and I want one for our garden. Now we're gonna go back outside to our water spigot and get the rest set up. I'm gonna unhook our soaker hoses, and these soaker hoses have been great. They are run underneath our mulch around all of our plants in our flower beds in the front of our home. And I love them, except for the fact that you have to manually turn it on or off every time you want to water your plants, which we're so busy and I'm just lazy that we ended up never watering our plants. So that is where this Rainpoint digital Bluetooth timer should come in and be incredible for us. I hooked up the timer to the spigot and then the soaker hose hooked to zone two. Now all we have to do is open up the Rainpoint app on our phone, go over to zone two because that's where our soaker hose is hooked up. I'm gonna change the duration for one hour and press start. And it immediately turned on from the inside of my home. I didn't even have to go outside and turn the spigot on, which is so cool. Now, while we're letting our flower beds and our plants get watered, I'm gonna go ahead and set up our schedule for the rest of the year. The Rainpoint app makes setting an irrigation plan so easy. All I do is start plan. I'm gonna choose the start time for 8 a.m. every day then the duration for how long it's gonna water, I'm gonna set at one hour, and then I'm gonna tell it to repeat this schedule every single day. Now, after I press save, our timer should go off every single morning at 8 a.m. and run for one hour to water our flower beds. All right, that was super easy to set up. And now, instead of manually turning our soaker hoses on and off like this, which half the time we would just forget to use our soaker hoses at all, and in the summer, as you can see, a lot of these plants have just really started to die and just not been looking their best. Now that we have this Rainpoint Bluetooth timer, we can know that our flower beds and our flowers and our plants are gonna get watered every single morning for about an hour. And we may adjust that time, but it's gonna be so easy because we can do all the adjustments and change our schedule and make sure that everything is working like it should all from our phone and that is so cool. It's gonna be so good for Emily and I because we travel a lot and it's just gonna be nice to know that everything is getting watered and our flower beds are gonna look beautiful all year long because of this rain point timer. I just, I still can't believe how easy that was to set up. I literally just plugged in the little hub into an outlet right by our router in the house. Then I put some batteries into the actual like zone thing that goes into your faucet 
and they instantly connected. I set the plan on my cell phone, hooked this up to the faucet and it's ready to go. And now I can have two different zones. So I'm gonna have the first set of soaker hoses that waters all of our flower beds in the front of our house. And I'm thinking about hooking up another hose for zone one that actually goes out to our backyard garden. And that will be really cool. We don't water our garden that often, but just knowing that we have that there and we can put some sprinklers out to the backyard garden, if we need, if we have a lot of days that don't get a lot of rain and we need our water to be gardened, I can just literally pull out my phone and turn on zone one and it'll water my garden. So this is super, super nice for anyone who does things like backyard gardens waters their lawn or takes care of flower beds and wants them to look nice. This rain point timer should make our maintenance and our watering schedule so much easier for the future. Here's a quick reminder of what our landscaping looked like just a couple days ago. We'd completely let this go over the summer, but luckily after a little bit of work, here is what it looks like now. I am blown away with how good this rock edging looks around these flower beds. I'm so glad that we did this upgrade. Against the monkey grass, I think that it looks so good. We will probably end up planting more of that monkey grass all the way alongside the driveway. Overall, I think this was a huge upgrade and a win for our curb appeal. I think that that black mulch just makes everything pop. The stones gives us an actual defined line around our flower beds. And to do this entire refresh for under $500, I think was a total win. Now, because of our rain point timer, this spring we're gonna plant so many more flowers and plants and we should have our landscaping looking more beautiful than ever. I hope you guys enjoyed this project and this video. Make sure to hit that like button and we will see you guys on the next one.